Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Beautiful sisters, Ramadan Mubarak It's been a week since Ramadan has started And I'm just sharing with you how my week has gone It's been focused on two things mainly <laughs> Making dua for uh, barakah in my time And also for beneficial knowledge Rabbi zidani ilma This is what it has been about Alright, let's work on this <laughs> So I have two inserts, just two, I have more actually, but um, I just want to work on these two for now um, until uh, 4 o'clock. So I have 30 minutes inshallah until I go get ready for um, Asr. I want to finish my calf. I didn't finish calf. I want to finish calf inshallah. So I have these two, um, they are like part of my Ramadan coaching. Uh, package and so the Ramadan goals I print in them letter size usually my planner is a5 but I want it uh, I want it I want it big to have a lot of space and then I have my idea Ramadan here so these are the two that I'm gonna work on now um, and so that will now um, help me to um, um, let's see if I can show you my Google Calendar right now yeah you see so then that will help me to basically um, fin uh, finalize the Google Calendar, right? So all I need now is to just put my goals per week. So every week, um, inshallah, I'll have like three main, most important goals to focus on. And then um, I want to put them in my Google Calendar as well. Then once I'm done with that, but that actually comes after, my first task is this one, my ideal Ramadan, the visualization. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then once from that, I will have my action items here. And then that will transfer on the Google Calendar, but also in my weekly theme planner insert and um, you know, planning my week. So uh, I will show you that once that's done, inshallah. So I um I shared that with the membership club a little bit of that procedure in the coaching jam. I am accepting client for the time management coaching. We're going to need it for Ramadan, right? So I am accepting client for that. And you know, it's been planning and <laughs> time management all over. This is uh, from the IOU school that I'm with. They did a webinar on how to manage our time and study during Ramadan, which is something that I... Uh, I don't remember really having so many courses to be different for me for that reason, uh, actually. If you have taken up four to six courses, um, you can ensure that you complete two modules every day for five days a week or six days a week. Uh, the students uh, who may be working, I definitely understand that it's Ramadan, you have a family to take care of, and at the same time you're working as well as studying, you have a lot of things. So talking about time management, you know, our planner, um, a digital planner insert, uh, time to do good now. You know, we have a planning session. Uh, it's like one, one time setting you up with the planner. And mashallah, it's, uh, it's less than $50 and it truly uh, helps you use a planner in the best manner. And it makes you intentional. Like that's what I, mean, I had a session this past week with a client. And that's what came out like really you have to be intentional there's no such thing as you just doing things randomly it pushes you to be intentional and there was also uh that we um you know uh mashallah it's a it's a blessing to live next to the masjid Also, talking about classes, um, that's what I said, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. <laughs> that was the second focus this past week. Uh, Imam Ahmed is offering sisters class uh, Saturday and Sunday from 5.15 to 5.45. And so that has been also really interesting. And then also showing you what the menu has been for Ramadan for us. 
uh, oatmeal has been oatmeal boiled eggs and veggies have been like constant this on the menu so handy i bought this at i want to say marshall's it's really handy it's a magnet you can put on your fridge and as things um finishes you just add so i just finished my pack of cheese and i just added um but anyway very handy and for you also has a free hips class of Surat al-Baqarah and mashallah I'm so excited for them they they are reaching the ayat of Ramadan and of Siyam and it's just amazing the timing Allah is just so merciful may Allah accept from all of them Allahumma Amin. we are also having a Tadambu class in Surat al-Kaf so preparing for it and teaching it and reviewing it has been also part of my content this week when do we say this dua? When we when difficulty, right? Who said this dua? Yunus Alaysa Salam. Where was he when he said this dua? In, in, uh, in the belly of the well. In the belly the of the fish. And he was helped. Is this like a really is this a common situation? No. Is this like a common difficulty? Fish in the ocean in the darkness? Is this like a common situation? have any of us? No, 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 no. Is it like a unique? miracle? It's a miracle. This this tells us what? Whatever problem you're facing, the Prophet told people to this is one of the du'as we say to seek the aid of Allah. What does this du'a say? How does it start? La ilaha illa anta. Do you guys understand Tawheed? Do you guys understand Tawheed? Well, sisters, this has been one of the highlights of my week. Um, I'm going to put in below in the link where you could actually order it if you want to. But it's been so amazing tracing the ayat of the Quran. Really, really amazing. I've 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 loved it and it just it's so perfect for hips, for you know, pondering, for um it's on, on so many levels it is it's very useful. Yeah, definitely. So this is me tracing Surah Tukaf and I was listening to uh, my husband recitation of Tarawih. Ramadan is the month of Quran, the month of du'a. So let's let's try to make sure the Quran and the du'a book is with us all the time. I'm showing you now in my notion how um, I have different routines, morning routine, evening routine, Jum'a routine. So I also have a Ramadan routine. And I have a couple of like morning and evening adhkar from YouTube, you know, kaf, uh, istighfar. You know, it's really handy. Like, um, just go there and just, just go through the checklist mulk um so yeah and so i was just um declutter in preparation for ramadan purification of the heart in preparation for ramadan i can just go and look at all of these you know um i had to do a tilawa schedule new hip schedule to double schedule batching so it's really helpful notion has been also very helpful in me um, preparing for ramadan as far as uh, having you know being able to embed uh, you know youtube videos that i need to go along with what I need to do and um, having the Athkar ones and uh, the mulk and uh, um, the morning, yeah, morning, evening Athkar, it's been really helpful. Alhamdulillah. So yeah, just a reminder that if you feel overwhelmed or you like, um, you want to be more organized, I am taking, accepting clients for time management coaching. Um, and okay, I can also set you up for the planner. It's less than $10 and then uh, there's a less than $50 um session for me to set you up this is me going um behind the scenes of how i prep for the devil classes and i'm just uh, giving you a little bit of behind the scenes i'm i'm on a break now i need a three minute time for break so i need to take my break inshallah 
alhamdulillah i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then come back it is right now it's 3 42 i'm gonna take a break assalamu alaikum i'm back okay so i did two sessions um let me put my break <laughs> okay i'm on break okay uh, of three minutes so i did my um I did my two um, Pomodoro. Let me just say this because <laughs> I know it's not sunnah when you're young to say It's a habit. It's it's just a habit. I can't. I'm. I know I'm aware of it, but I just immediately when I start yawning, I seek refuge in Allah. But it's definitely not a sunnah. It's not like when you yawn, you have to say this. Okay, I just want to clarify. So anyway, the point is, um, I have, I'm done with um, session four. I think that um, I've, I have pretty much everything. I may add, uh, as far as the slides, I'm done. Uh, as far as the notes, I may want to list, read a little bit more of a Saudi, um, you know, before Sunday and, you know, add a few things in my notes, but the slides, they're done. And as far as, you know, I may be listening to another um, uh, tafsir or what or what have you. But um, as far as my um, my slides, they are done, alhamdulillah. So that was uh, one of my top three, actually, today was to recite my calf and, um, and do the slides for session four, which I just finished doing. So now I'm going to work a little bit on session five. Um, I'm done. So now it's Asa time. They call the Azan already. So I'm going to go make wudu. And um, I've what I did was I went ahead and printed my um, planner insert for the upcoming week. And inshallah, my plan is after Asr. I'm going to work on my... Um, I have two things to work on. I'm going to work on um, the new membership content. So I'm going to do that from my prayer rug. I'll bring my laptop. And also, I'm going to work on um, planning the upcoming week. So self-coaching and some du'as. So these will take care of my top three of the day. And after that, I have to go clean the shower and uh, wash my hair. And if I have some time before seven, I may walk to the store. It's really nice outside. I just didn't get a chance to walk, but it's nice and sunny. So I may walk to the store and buy some eggs. I also need to study uh, my Arabic grammar. So I'm thinking that if I have time, I will walk while listening to the class. At least they will give me some heads up. And then um, if I come back, there's still time. Then I will um, study. But at 7, I need to be in the kitchen. Um, and I want to cook some vegetables. Saute some veggies. And, uh, and just get ready for iftar. So that is the plan. Assalamu alaikum. Alright, so I come. See this. I'm about to work on my week, this upcoming week, inshallah, with the time to do good planner. So the first step in planning is brain dumping. You hear me say that all the time, but it's <laughs> it's what I do. So I start the planning with brain dumping. Um, and so ideally you will want to get a previous brain dumping and see if there's any outstanding items you want to transfer it. But yeah, that's me doing the brain dumping. So it's, it's been a, a pretty busy and interesting week. I love this month of Ramadan. I pray that Allah accept from all of us. And, uh, I pray that, you know, he, he shower, shower us with his mercy and forgive our shortcomings and that you have enjoyed this uh, this clip. I guess at this point it's more of no, it's a vlog. It's not a clip. <laughs> it's about fifteen minutes long, I think. So, 
Inshallah, I will see you. I'll try to do another one next week and I will see you in the next one. Inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum.